Hello guys and welcome. Today we are going to look at the strategic decision making which is part of the Harvard publishing product. Before that, this is a my income statement from my decision rationale that I had put together. If you look at my cumulative operating profit, I had a cumulative operating profit of 292 million 299 sorry 0.2 million dollars. I was uh, 800,000 dollars shy of uh, getting 300 million dollars. In this video, I'll show you how to play and how to master the simulation. I'll also show you how the simulation works. The data uh, under in the data analytics class it just help you on how you can analyze data and make decisions. If you check at uh, this background, it says that uh, you have been hired as a brand manager of uh, Casely White and you are managing their new data analytic platform called the KW Vision. Also, you are in charge of the new product and uh, your plan is to turn around and use the analytic platform to develop your strategy over the next four years and uh, to summarize I can just say that it's all about uh, SOAP and uh, the type of uh, formulations that you'll use and uh, also how you'll manage to increase your market share and at the objectives uh, as I was playing this game my objective was uh, to achieve the highest profit in every year and uh, therefore having the highest cumulative profit at the end of the four years while I was playing the game, I realized that the game is dynamic, complex and challenging and if you don't make the correct decision, the, de the decision that you made might end up uh, biting you. Because uh, I can remember in a certain round, I had uh, high volume sales and still uh, my market share was low. Also my competitors, one of them had uh, low profit with a uh, high market share. So what I can just say here is that... Uh, you should make decisions that uh, will support your blue brand. Let's say you predict uh, market demand and set the production. You can set your channel price. You can uh, make your formulation decision. You can determine your promotion spending and decisions. You can communicate your strategy to your managers. In year one, my decision rationale didn't include uh, a lot of market analysis and historical data because uh, that's when I had already picked the company and I was trying to turn it around. I had not made any decisions because uh, here I could just, uh, what I could just do is uh, compare my decisions to that, to that of my competitors and I can also compare what had they done before so that I could uh, try and uh, counter them. I could also try to look at uh, how did their decisions affect my market share. The next part, so it's uh, the dashboard. Okay, under uh, this dashboard, I realized that uh, it is useful in years uh, 2, 3 and 4 because uh, it helps you monitor your decisions. You just check what you have done uh, the previous year. Okay, the thing that I realized about this simulation is that uh, each one of you will have to make his or her own decisions because you only have your own market. You don't play against each other, you only play to uh, increase your market. You play for yourself, let me say uh, you play for yourself. Your decisions will only impact your market. The decisions made here will uh, affect your market share, your profitability, your revenue, and uh, also your demand. Because uh, as I was playing, I realized that uh, this game is quite challenging because you might have, uh, you might decide to lower your, the cost of your product, and also your competitor decides to lower the cost of uh, his or her product. Again. If you decide to increase your pro the price of your product, you'll realize that 
maybe your competitor will increase uh, his uh, the price of his or a product so if we move down we have reports and uh, under this part this is where you will formulate your strategy and you will realize that uh, reports are generated the reports that are generated have uh, they only display four years of data that's uh, from 2015 to 2018 so you will just uh, pick from 2019 until uh, 2022 and uh, the income statement will uh, show you the revenue, the costs, the operating profit, and the, the cumulative operating profit. The, sim the simulation will uh, be graded on uh, cumulative profits and uh, market share. Should, uh, if I look at my, let's say, if I look at my statement, my if uh, the trend of my revenue is that uh, my revenue uh, increased. From uh, no, when I picked the company, I had a revenue of 312.6 million dollars. Then it dropped to 290, then 265, then it dropped to 258. And if you check at my revenue, you realize that uh, my revenue keeps on going down because I was, as I was trying to reduce the price of my products I realized that also my competitors were reducing the price of their products also that uh, what I realized again is that uh, what matters is the quality of your decisions because uh, you can have high profit and uh, that does not necessarily mean that you have high market share or uh, high revenue and also low revenue does not uh, necessarily means that uh, you have a uh, low market share so let's go back to our presentation. The next one we have uh, product versus demand. Uh, this will just show you the your current demand, your current production, and uh, your inventory. And uh, what I noticed is that uh, the biggest mistake that uh, most learners normally make is that they stock out. If you stock out, you miss revenue. So ensure that you, at any given cost, you don't stock out because uh, you don't want to miss that revenue. So the next report is uh, pricing. This uh, pricing dust, uh, it shows pricing over a period of time. It also shows on, uh, it will also guide you on how your competitors reacted after you change your pricing. It also shows you, it also shows you on uh, whether position your product in place of a value brand or a compete in, on premium basis the next uh, report we have the social media report uh, this is uh, comments uh, about uh, your product and uh, company if you want to check on the live feeds just uh, follow the live feeds on the right hand side you just uh, see what you are customers are uh, saying about your products you have the data explorer now under the data explorer is where this uh, simulation starts being uh, quite challenging because uh, here you have uh, different tabs that are very useful so let's say we have uh, the operating prof uh, the operating profit we have the revenue we have the market share so the market share will just uh, show you where you are. We have the brand demand, we have the brand sales, we have the formulation demand. Uh, this uh, shows you what type of the product that you're dealing with. We have the media consume. The media consumed uh, is just shows you a list of uh, the consumption over the difference uh, over the different media outlets available the brand attribute demand it just shows you uh, how uh, the brand uh, the brand attribute demand will uh, just show you how you want to position your product against your competitors like uh, the target groups the trade channel demand this shows you the demand based on uh, the different distribution channel 
like uh, how do you want to allocate your trade channel the price point demand under the price point demand it just uh, this is the most important one because when making decision you just want to price your products accordingly then finally we have uh, the household the household will uh, make you sell your will make you sell uh, different types uh, the okay sorry the household will uh, make you sell uh, in different uh, types of market groups then we have uh, the market groups you have uh, the, based on income based on ethnicity based on uh, household size based on region and again based on age the next one we have uh, the geographical demand under the geographical demand this is just a visual representation of the demand of blue by region in the united states we have uh, this one is the west coast we have the central we have the southeast and uh, the northeast you can also break it down because you have filters you can break it down uh, according to income ethnicity household and age then uh, making decisions in making decisions we have uh, this tab here we uh, this uh, uh, this this is the page that we make decisions for the game and if you will see here we have uh, units to produce here you'll just uh, put how many units you want to produce on a given year then you have the forecast so if i could uh, move down to show you the forecast so this is the forecast tab this will predict uh, on the likelihood of you producing or predicting the number of units that you are planning to produce then uh, pricing so let me just uh, use this one the channel price so you just uh, under here you just input the price of the products that you can see the data from the reports you just uh, analyze the data from the reports then you see where uh, decide how are you going to price your products are you going to increase the price of or reduce the price then we have uh, the formulation and features under the decisions in the formulation you just uh, differentiate differentiate your product in terms of positioning and formulation then uh, the trade channel spend this is uh, where customers can get your product is it uh, convenience stores club grocery or mass then uh, the media spend this is uh, the media spend is uh, it determines your location on the promotional budget of uh, the type of media that you use uh, create awareness for your product then we have uh, the strategy communication here you just uh, analyze and uh, break new findings that uh, based on, that are based on your data you can write what you are thinking at uh, that given moment or uh, what you are planning to do in the future so that you try and maximize on having this high cumulative profit then finally we have the decision history this is where you can see how your four years of simulation went how were you making profit were you making loss what have you done over the given period of time after you have finished uh, making decisions you'll see them on the dashboard so and uh, also some reports uh, you'll see uh, also some decisions you'll see them in the reports so that's uh, what i wanted to share with you and uh, have a nice time